Hey y'all, this week on Atelier Design. Oh, was she not talking about the steam room in the shower? It's part two of the tour with Trip to lay out the plans for the guest room and the bathroom. Here's some really pretty polished nickel fixtures. And then I make the big mistake of giving Trip the camera. You got me turning red. <laughs> uh huh, look who gets nervous on film. <laughs> Last week, Tripp and I walked through the demolition at the Uptown Residence renovation and discovered a few problems. So that's coming down from the attic into the living room? Yes, yeah, the chimney from below. Oh, crap. That's not good. And you saved the tub, right? We were using that tub? Yeah. It's in the yard. Yeah. Plan. Now in part two, we move on to the guest bedroom and the bathroom. And the tub is still in the yard. Trip was gonna take a lunchtime break. I know, well, okay, so the steam showers, it goes right here. Okay, so I thought it'd be nice if y'all saw the actual plan a little bit close up and I showed you where we were going with the design. So here's the guest room where we've carved out that bathroom here, created an office here. I thought we could maybe pop out a little bit of color, but also keep it basic at the same time, whereby we use this basket weave that is on the floor and then would wrap up to the sides to create a wainscot and cap it off with this pretty marble chair molding and then put other tile on top of that wainscot in the shower so that you kind of create a differential effect where it's broken up by the chair rail. So what we're gonna do is, this is gonna be like a basket weave and it's on the elevations. This bathroom's gonna be a basket weave up into, up into like a 42 inch point. Okay. And it's gonna go from the floor all the way, you know, it's gonna be like a bathtub basically, all the way up. And then I wanna do a molding, like a chair rail in okay. the tile above it and then above just it. in the sh yeah and then just in the shower we're going to do a different tile on the walls on the walls going okay. above that the but the floor tile is the wings good and it comes into the shower into the shower into the shower okay but i think rather than the diamond we're probably going to go with the subway tile then here's some really pretty polished nickel fixtures from Kingston Brass. Kingston Brass is usually a fairly good price point and they're just really beautifully made. So here's the shower valve, here's the rain head, and then we were picking this faucet. I found this vanity that I thought was really pretty and had some nice detailing on it. The client doesn't love the color, so we'll probably change that, but it had these little columns and it sits up from the floor and had good counter space. And then also I found this little image where it's this little wallpaper tape and it has two different pieces to it. And I thought that could be fun in the area that we don't bring that tile up above. And then this glass has to go all the way up because it's a right. steam shower. So it'll have a transom. It'll have a transom above. And then this is, um, here you want to make this? Do you, Do you feel pressure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Okay. So I'm we'll gonna go over this. Okay. So we're gonna go tile all the way up, trim molding, base molding. Uh huh. Look who gets nervous on film. <laughs> You're making me nervous. I'm never nervous. <laughs> I got you. Let me zoom in. <laughs> you got me turning red. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at this. I prefer to be behind the camera, I'm not in front of me. All right, and then, um, and then we've got the radiant floor. And then don't forget, I want to put floor blocker. Radiant floor in this bathroom and that bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Because she said it's, you know, it's so easy to put those down. I don't think it's very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so the sauna is going here. Oh, was she not talking about the steamer in the shower? We kept all this stuff. Yeah, so the, yeah, the steamer is going to go in this shower. Okay. All right, that's what this pipe is, that's what that equipment is. Okay, and then the toilet moves here, yep. and then the sink moves here. Yep. And that's the big piece I gotta get on the vanities, and then a wall here. So are we not, these dimensions were off? Yeah, we have more room than you could, so it's good. 
Okay. We need to determine if this is a five foot bathroom. Well, we want to make it, I'd give the room to the bathroom. Oh, you will? Then to the office and the Well, so my main thing is, is I'm trying to center this door on the coffers. Center, center, equal, equal. Heard that. <laughs> So obnoxious. So I'm trying to go one, two, three. Do you see that on the plan? And so that door centers. See that door opening right there? Mm -hmm. So that the door enter. Okay. So if anything center. is going to get pushed this way, which is fine. There's a huge beam right here that makes it really hard. If, if you wanted it to go that way, we. Yeah. Good. But hopefully that I'm hoping that might give us some room in that bathroom. That's such a tiny bathroom. So I figured this was five feet. It's good. That scale is exactly five feet. Yeah. So and and that's kind of a typical bathtub. I know that's a shower. Right. So I was leaving that five feet and then giving the remainder to the office on a closet. The closet is framed. We're gonna leave that, right? Yeah. It has four feet, two, so we can, if, if that two inches is significant, we can move it. No, it's not. Ideally, we leave it. No, you leave it. And then this dimension, I don't think it's on that plane, but it's, it's under four, it's 48, 43, but then we have Well, so I guess I was giving the closet a little more room. Okay. Well, coming this way is not a big problem. So. And if we've got that, that closet door was so jammed, did, did they cut the casing off? Yes. Let me see. Yeah. Now that we've got it out. So, I mean, Trip, ideally we would give that closet a little more room and get get the full casing. You know what I mean? So we're yeah. not so jammed in the in the corner here. But this wall is fine? This depth? Yeah, it seems good to me. The bathroom will get uh, tile. Everywhere else will get wood to match her. Yeah. This is kind of your three foot ten mark, just from from that mark to here, where the sauna goes. Yeah, well, and the sauna gets centered on this door. Okay. So what you have to do, so you, what you have to do is find the center point of this between here, you know, between the line of that coffer to to the here. That's going to be your center here. Okay, so that line, not that line. This is what we're calling the end of the room, not this? Yeah, I mean, because I can't. Because we don't want to remove all that AC, right? Yeah. yeah. But it, we're tearing all this out anyway to build the new barrel ceiling. So we can do whatever you want. Okay, wait. All right. So, okay, wait. Hold on. Let's think about this. No, I take it back. Why did I do this? Okay, I know what happens. This is four equal coffers. And then that, this inset gets aligned. It's going this way. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's how you do it. So it's, this is one, two, three, four equal coffers. And then this wall moves in a little so that that's the three. Then you take the three and center it on the third. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's not centered on the room. It's no. centered on the drop ceiling. You just need 310 there. So do you want your closet to get bigger? We yeah. have an extra foot. Yeah. I want the closet, but but see that center line? That's that's what's in, that's what's gonna lay this all out. <laughs> and then in here we want to do that floor blocker. Okay. Have you used that before? She was worried about the sound coming from the just living room. Just for acoustic, yeah. Uh, so it's that uh, thin like foam. It's really like an cool. underlayment. Yeah. Yeah, it's an underlayment, and I think I actually have two layers of it going in the bedroom. Okay. You know, like in these walls, you use that um, that Rockwell Safe and Sound. Okay. And you saw this is coming out, the Hobbit hole. Yeah. This is coming out. This right? the door. Yeah. So we can make it look. I want it to look like the rest of the doors in the hall. You want us to align these yeah. transoms not and, and head height, but the yes. door height can be shorter by because you step up. Yeah, for whatever reason they decided to do that. You think this was like someone framed it up and then they went uh uh? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody messed up. Somebody messed up. We're gonna change out that chandelier eventually, but she wants to sell it. Okay. Um,
So. I won't take it down for maybe. Okay. Can you build like one of those little braces to keep it? Okay. Yeah. Breaking apart. Yeah. So if you get this laid out, then I can come back and try and just like double check that everything is where it needs to be. It's looking good. All right. Say bye. Yeah, I drink. <laughs>